Hi, welcome to another amazing, awesome, awe-inspiring, motivating word for the day. Right now you can hear a lot of traffic going on around me. I'm in busy traffic. Busy, busy, busy. Our lives are so busy, busy, busy. Sometimes you work in the night, you work in the day, you are working, working, working. But I got great news for you. Number one, work is good. Work is good. There's a, there's a verse that says, I, I went by a field and it was overgrown with thorns and thistles. And I considered in myself, there's a lot of wheat in the ground of the lazy person. And then he said, a little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of the hands, and poverty will overtake you like a robber, man, like armed bread. Before you know it, you will be poor if you just sit around and sleep all day and don't make an effort. Okay, now to, to balance that out though, because everything's balanced, right? To balance it out, myself personally, I work sometimes two jobs. And last weekend I worked almost 96 hours in four days. That's impossible. I probably slept three out of those days, three times four. I probably slept 12 hours out of a 96 hour period and I worked the rest and I got a lot done which is great but then Monday comes around what's up man ready to get right to work again you know ready to get right to work again ready to get right to work again and uh, before I ran into the job I happened to just glance down and read a Bible verse and I'm not one of them people that are, you just flip it open and guide your life by it. But this was so pertinent to what I was going through. It was amazing. Now, before I had left, my son said, you were gone four days. Now you're going to work again? Why, Dad? Why? You know, and that tugs at your heartstrings, right? We got to do what we got to do. But I looked down and I read this verse that said, Unless the Lord, the eternal God, uh, builds a house, they labor in vain that build it. Unless the Lord watches over a city, they stand in vain to watch a city. And then the next one is the one that got me. It said it's useless to stay up all day, it's to stay up all night long, and then get up early, laboring, toiling endlessly, because God provides bread for the ones that he loves. So if God loves you, he's going to provide for you. You don't have to burn yourself out. Now, balance that with, I'm not saying be lazy, because laziness ends in poverty. But you don't have to work 24-7 burning your fingers to the bone. Your needs will be met because God loves you. Now, you think, man, that's one of them weird spiritual things. God, oh, getting into fruit, weird land. Let me just put it in an easier analogy then for all of us. Let's say I have a child. And he gets up in the morning. I gladly say, hey, man, I'm going to make you a bowl of cereal. Would you like it? Well, I don't like this kind. You know, hey, that's all right. I'll get you the best kind you got. Here you go. The raisins in it honey or whatever and strawberries you know to have some cereal when my son's hungry not only do I give him cereal I give him the best I got in the house and I try to next payday get him that best one again do I say no you know maybe do your chores and get ready that's normal but then do I say do your chores get ready and then do more chores all night, sleep for one hour and get up and then maybe I'll give you some cereal in the morning. That's a parent on their way to like abuse of, you know what I mean? That's abusive. So if me being an imperfect human being, sinful human being, know how to give a good bowl of cereal to my son, how much more will the creator of all of us, the father of every one of us, give what we need to us so don't stay up all night working and worrying and then rising up early working and worrying balance 
That's the word for the day.